you on this video. I know it has been a long while since I've uploaded anything, and I apologize. This podcast is about my project I've been working on. I decided to get into relay switches, and that was just because I was curious about them. So I bought up several different types of relays. There are already cards, not just the relays themselves. But like this is a USB relay card. I decided to automate my Christmas lights this year to a 30 minute show. This is where the nerdiness comes in. At the heart of this automation is an Arduino. I have it set up with a piece of code that takes um, serial USB serial output from this open source program called Vixen. V-I-X-E-N. And I will have a link in the description. And using this program, you set up your channels and you automate the light. This Arduino decodes that information and sends it to your outputs, which will be relay switches. Now the USB relay switches could include I went out and I bought Arduino ready or microcontroller ready relay board. Then here I have the face already up. Here is one of the custom light setups that I built for the show. It's six different um, separate rope lights. They're not different, they're all orange. But this is a talking face. It's got four different mouse structures. So this is the main attraction of the show, is this talking face. And it's going to sing and talk. No, it doesn't dance. Well, let me get to the ground now and show you the rest. All right, I'm done off the roof now. This is the front walkway of my house. And this is where the entire show takes place. Straight to your left is the chimney. Um, which you can't see in this frame right now, but that's what we are. Right here we have four trees that are lit up, and then one here in the center that's not. And we have these candy canes that are also four, and they're lit up between the two trees. And here on this walkway, I have bought these lights. I've got I paid for them, but I didn't like the lights that came with them because I can't turn them on and off individually. So I went ahead and I replaced the light inside with two bright colored LEDs. And uh, those bright colors are green. And I have those connected directly to the Arduino. Now, for the AC powered lights, those are running straight off. Um, those switches are the relay switches, which are straight on or off. I don't have dimming control on any of these lights. And I also have a red walkway light that I'm still working on trying to get it to look good. But I don't have any dimming control on that either. The only lights I have dimming control on are these walkway candles. And that's because they're running off 5 volts straight from the Arduino. 16 lights in total because there's two LEDs in each candle. And that's also a very custom cable I made with four or five different pieces of wire that I found here and there. And I went through the entire 70 feet strand and wrapped it all up in electric wire. So it's one big cable like everything else. Now here we are. This is my dog. <laughs> yeah, we're in the shop, man. That was that good to begin with, but I guess I'm Alright, so this is one of the trees with the multicolor rope light. And I have it attached to this homemade extension cord, which this one is a five wire sprinkler cable. And I have it individually set up, so I have outputs here, and I have three more going down for the other two trees. Now, the candy canes are a different setup. The same thing, except 
I ended up finding a seven cable wire because I'm also planning on using the extra wire for something else in the future. Now these are solid state wires. What I understand, now let me just clarify before I go any further, I am not an electrician or a professional or anything like that. I am just doing this just because I can and I'm doing it the way I want. Uh, anyway, <laughs> these are solid state wires inside and they should be able to handle 120 volts. It's the wattage and the amperage that it's not supposed to be able to handle. These cables are made for sprinkler wire. They're made to handle what's considered low voltage, 24 volts and lower. And I plan on using this wire on another project that is 12 volts DC power. It's going to be a car project I'm going to work on. Now, that being said, I forgot, I don't even think one of these light strands is in here. So, I'm not pulling a lot of wattage at all. And I didn't sit down and calculate it because. I don't want to. But I've had these on for over seven hours. Nothing's getting hot or anything like that. So I'm keeping it the way it is. The box I made, it's in a tubware and it's got AC outlets on top and a couple other things here and there. I didn't make it waterproof, not in the least bit. And so my plan was to have it out here in the corner and wrap it up and uh, a bunch of plastic which would have been a very uncomfortable idea to work with and it would have been a pain so I ended up setting it up in the fireplace inside and I have all the cables running in to the outside and it's not a whole lot of cables since eight of the cables I managed to put into two strands so let's go inside now and check out the fireplace here is the fireplace now before I go any further with dismantling the setup, I want to show you how I turn them off. I have two cables coming from the box itself. These two cables are what power the 16 lights. Lights come on, and you just heard a little click. Um, right now, I don't have it connected to a computer. When I do and I have the correct code on it, I will find the form that I used, that I found, came across, and then copied their code from, and then tweaked it, because I wired several things backwards. So I just went piece by piece, and I changed it up in code, as opposed to changing it up in the whole thing. I have the Arduino right now being a standalone lighting control box. Here we are. Here's my box. <clears throat> Slide it over a little bit. And if you're wondering about this wiki over here in this corner, this is an extra relay switch from Powertail system. And I guess I'll go ahead and put their website down in the description as well. But this is, I think, about $20, $24 for one switch. Basically a pre-made relay switch piece that plugs right into your appliance and then the wall. And I have a one foot uh, extender on it so I can reach the outlet comfortably. And then on the side here is where you plug in your positive and negative and it's clearly labeled. And that will plug directly to the Arduino or microcontroller or any low voltage power. And I have that plugging into the same system that I have the walkway lights plugged into. Except I don't have fade control on this. I have it a straight digital out on the Arduino kit. Walkway lights, I have programmed, I have set up to plug in this which I cut and stripped and all that. Very painful for all my fingers. And that plugs in over here. So that gives me eight with the nine out, eight with the lights outside and then this one right here. So that's nine total extra from the 16 actual AC outlets I already have. And I just went ahead and bought the cheapest outlets I could 
for this project. And here I have override switches. So during my show, I have to make sure I turn all the switches off. In the Arduino code for this project, I have it set up so that the lights beside and instead of the lights instead of the face, they light up. So that I can come in here and I can manually switch on the fix if I know the code. And I do know the sequence of all these lights and all these lights correlate to the switches down here. I can have this box plugged in without the computer, which is going to be plugged in most of the time without a computer. And I just decided to go out of my way and just program the uh, code onto the Arduino itself. But that's what this original plan was. So it's kind of worthless now. This down here is a powered USB hub. And that was another idea, because I was hoping I could plug in another Arduino and get it to work. But I'm having a... I'm not entirely sure what the problem is. Something about the type of wires used or something. Vixen is giving me errors with that. Again, it's open source, and it's... I'm finding a lot of bugs. Just to get my system to work with it, it doesn't always work the first time. When it does, I am happy. When it doesn't, the serial commands are read wrong by the Arduino, and different lights start lighting up, and it's all random. And it's embarrassing. So an hour before the show, I'm going to have the computer set up with the Arduino, and it will all be in sync already. So all I have to do is hit play on my show. And this here, this USB out, is where the Arduino, I had the Arduino coming out there. And I bought a 50 foot USB repeater. And it's male to female. And I had the cord in the back so it's out of the way. It's male to female. And I have it plugged into this powered USB hub, which is powered via this extra two prong outlet on the side and the USB power adapter for it. This one here and this plugs into the USB hub. And then voila, we've got the red light down there and it's all on. Then the Arduino can plug in and get power. As you can see, it's a Tupperware box that I have upside down because the heart of plastic is on top. I didn't want to build it into the lid. The lid's already warping. And these, this is the inside. Down here are all the relay switches that I was using. Now these are mechanical relay switches. I have 16 solid state relay switches. I was thinking about switching these with. But I don't want to take the time to do that now, and the way the setup is right now, I can plug into those outlets, um, you know, floodlights basically. I can't plug a whole lot into them because I'm only using two outlets to power the whole thing, and it's really just one breaker. These relay switches can handle up to 15 amps. The solid states I have can handle up to 2 amps. They'll be perfect for this setup, but if I ever want to plug in some heavy duty lights into this thing, I don't want to. There's no reason to use it on solid state. So the mechanical, I'll probably stay in this box. If I build another one, I'll probably use my solid states. This one up here is a wireless relay, and it's two wireless relays, and this basically does the same thing. I have it set in the override for these manual key switches up here. So I'll just leave those key switches on. That's just another extra add-on piece just because I can and I want to see how it looks. Now, Adreno is over here on the side. And this cable here, these are double cables inside. There's on top and there's on bottom going to both sides of the relay switches. The relay switch required 12 volts DC power, which the I just put the wall adapter inside the box, connected to the power itself. I did a lot of cable cutting and rewiring, so I have it all 
powered with its adapters internally and this one's outside only because I didn't have enough room inside. This is the USB cable I told you that the Arduino plugged into. It goes around and plugs right into the Arduino. Down here, this cable is what the walkway lights are plugged into and those individually plug into these PWM outputs on the Arduino. The rest here are in digital output. Now this isn't the small Arduino, this is one of the larger ones and it's not even an official Arduino, it's one of the knockoffs. But it works just fine, you can pick them up for 20 bucks off eBay and that's what I've been doing. I've got a couple now. It's basically it for the inside of the box and then the two power cables for the box are right here. They go into the back and they come around. And those are what plug into the wall.